Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the question of does your cow need a cow? All jokes aside, um, I actually wrote a blog back in 2017 that you're seeing here called Does My Cow Need a Cow or a Client Access License? Um, and when it comes to client access licenses, it is probably the most difficult licensing discussion to have. It can actually be really simple on a certain level, but then it can get very complex, especially when we dig into Microsoft SQL Server. Um, but Microsoft, for pretty much all of the server products, many of them, they have client access licenses. And if you go searching the web and trying to find the licensing, you might end up on the official Microsoft page where they talk about client access licenses and MLs or management licenses. And the difficulty with this page is that it doesn't really get into Internet of Things devices. It doesn't get into appliances and uh, parking garage sensors and digital signage and cash registers and uh, you know, gaming and medical equipment, right? It really talks to corporate America and it talks to um, basically the examples I'll scroll down and show you is a user and a computer. They don't really get into all the other things, especially internet of things. And so it can get tricky. And in fact, we recently had a customer that was confused um, by this page. And I want to point that out and talk about it. But in, in the, they simplify it by saying you would buy a user cow if you have a user that wants to access multiple devices. Um, and you would buy a device cow if you had one device that was going to be used by multiple users. And that, 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 that makes it pretty simple. But it doesn't talk about SQL Server and databases and accessing databases and multiplexing um, and multiple servers and um, clustering and fell over clustering and all of that stuff, right? So, um, and it does mention external connectors here too, which I'll, I'll come back to, but um, let's get down to the server part. And this, this sentence really confused a customer and I don't want this to happen to others. So it gets here and it says server licensing not requiring cows. Some server products are available to be licensed on a per core or a per instance basis. Under the per core model, when the server software is running in the physical OS, you must license all the physical cores. Um, and then it basically says you do not need to purchase cows. So what is misleading about this is they're actually specifically talking about SQL Server per core. So if you were to buy the SQL Server per core product, then no cows are required. It's unlimited users, unlimited devices. But they didn't say SQL here, right? And the problem with this is Windows Server is uh, licensed by per core. And you would license a server with Windows Server operating systems by per core. And it absolutely requires cows, right? Unless you were, the, were to buy this external connector. Now, I will add this. In the IoT Embedded channel, we have um, a special uh, license option that allows you to buy an embedded server license per core. It's called Callus, and uh, that Callus option does give, give you the rights to not have to buy any cows for that appliance, which is great. So if you're an OEM building an IoT server and you don't want to deal with this, these cows or this whole discussion, come to us. We'll talk about it. We'll get you the Callus option. But in the regular channel, that's not an option. You have to buy cows for your server or this external connector license, which is not an option in the IoT channel, by the way. That's why we got them to create us a callous option. Um, and you can see how misleading this is because it's really making you think that they're talking about Windows Server, but you can see they don't even actually tell you which product. Um, and I'm gonna actually kind of bring this up with the Microsoft folks and, and hopefully get them to update this, right? Because now people are thinking that they're talking about Windows Server, when in truth they're talking about 
the um, SQL Server per core. And um, so you, one thing I will say, if you start searching the web and trying to find information on how to license SQL cows, what qualifies as, as needing a cow, um, what, what, what qualifies as needing a Windows Server cow, um, it is a mess out there. Uh, don't waste your time. Just come to us here at Arrow. Let's have a discussion. I'll walk you through it. We also have some great licensing guides that specifically talk about this. And then again, you should go check out link in the description for my blog from a few years ago. Still holds true. Does my cow need a cow? Which it had to do with um, a company that was making a sensor that went into dairy cows, um, either in their stomachs or on a device around their neck. And the question was, did the cow need a cow? Um, and the truth was, the answer, you'll have to find out in the blog. Uh, with that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, stay up to date with the Windows IoT channel. Thank you guys.